Today I'm going to show you how to use nesting and parenting in After Effects while creating an animated Mario car. So what we're going to do first thing is we're going to go into our uh, P drive Clark lessons creative right click on the smart car copy desktop create a new folder and call this smart car or Mario car what do you say and then paste all the files into Mario car within Mario car you have the rubric and you have all the files you need for this program does that make sense people okay now all I have to do is right click import all these files desktop Mario car let's import the whole folder okay now what I can do is I'm just gonna bring these down one at a time that I want okay but again this is what the nesting is we're gonna have two different compositions we're gonna put we're gonna animate the car in one composition we're gonna bring that animated car into another composition which will be our final cartoon okay so new composition we're gonna call this car okay 15 seconds that is fine so while I am in the car composition down here I'm gonna bring in my files so what is it gonna to take to make a car we're gonna probably need the wheel and we're gonna probably need the actual car sound good are you with me yep. okay now let's take this let's take this car or this wheel and let's put it in here we can zoom it in right so we can kinda of place it right over the top of that what we want so first thing we do remember we are in our car composition this means you're in the composition I'm going to rotate this car okay so I'm going to turn on the rotation I'm gonna click end on my keyboard and I'm gonna rotate this let's say in 15 seconds depending on how fast the tire goes okay or the car is going depends on how fast the tire should go also if we're the car is moving left to right which way should the tire turn should it go clockwise or counterclockwise should it go this way or this way to the right yeah yeah okay if we we're going in reverse we would go left we'd turn it the other way so let's just say in 15 seconds we want to turn this 30 times okay now remember I turned it on here and I went down to the end and I put 30 times you have to turn on the keyframe or the time the stopwatch here click end and then turn it you've got to do it in that order it will not work so I repeat home turn it on end while it comes down here put in 30 so now I click it looks like it's moving a little bit it might be off at its axle a little bit but that's fine okay now do you think I have to do the exact same thing with another tire or could I just maybe go click on this wheel control D duplicate it move it over and BAM we are done both wheels are now going easy enough okay cool now what do I do composition new composition let's just call this background so now the car is done so the car is a composition do you see where it says car composition watch I bring that down boom it's already done okay we can zoom this out now let's start bringing in our backdrops so we've got this blue layer we can go s for scale we can now have our blue background we can start building the background we could bring in a mushroom okay what do we want to do with the mushroom we could bring in Mario what do we want to do with Mario we can make him animated okay what do we want to do with don't worry about this one cuz I mean you could bring it in the background and have like your own um, so what I'm saying is get rid of that blue layer 
and you can scale up this background so you can already have one if you want okay let's see box I could bring in another box <clears throat> Okay, I can go S for scale, bring this up. Now who remembers, um, if you want to increase the speed of your transforming, what can you hold down on the keyboard? Here's with scale, or with here's scaling without shift, here's scaling with shift, okay? All right, so now we have that. What do we have to do now? We just have to scale everything. So click on Mario, click S to scale bring him down wherever you want him to go you could even put him inside this car put him behind the car layer so he's stuck in there the mushroom click on S for scale bring this down we want the mushroom to possibly go behind here because when we click on it we want the mushroom to pop out so you guys are actually going to just have fun with this okay so I'm going to click on scale, bring the car down. Okay. Now let me show you something here. This is this is another feature that you can use. It's called parenting. Okay. I know I'm throwing a lot at you right now. So we've already got the the nesting down where you bring in one composition into another. This one is called parenting using the parent layers, which means if I take the car and I scale it what is happening with the Mario? He's not scaling. He's not scaling with it, correct? So how do I get them linked together? What I can do is Mario, I can actually click on the Mario layer and choose the parent layer as the car composition. Now watch. <clears throat> when I scale the car, Mario goes with it. Does that make sense, people? Is that kind of a cool trick? Yeah. Okay. So now Let's first, let's move Mario. So he's spinning right now, but I want him to go across the screen, right? So same as the basketball tutorial we just did, we are going to do this. We're going to just move him down the screen, okay? So the car, drop this down, go to the very beginning and turn position on. I'm going to come up just a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to have him come a little bit forward, go down a little bit more, and I'm going to have him boop except I want him to be on top or bring the box below okay and click the mushroom below the box mushroom below the box okay so now cars on the top so I can come down I don't want him to go behind it I want him to hit right at the top of it okay I want him to hit it like boom okay comes down a little more have him drop down here come down a little more have him go across the screen a little more and <clears throat> then here hold down shift click hold down shift and move him across the screen okay so now he goes like this Oop. like this and there he goes okay now from that website okay I could bring in what does it sound like um, where's just a jump that's weird. Jump. Okay. So I right click on it. <clears throat> I might have to click on it to go into it. Yeah, if I just click on it, it downloads it right here. So you can go show in finder or folder. Here it is here. Control C, copy it. Desktop. And I'm going to put it where? Mario Car. Boom. Now I have my song or my sound effect. File, import, file. Desktop. Mario car bring it in now I can just bring this at the bottom where do I want this to show up right about there correct so bring this down to my timeline now listen something like that cool now what happens when he hits this is the mushroom supposed to come bouncing out okay so right here I'm going to turn the position on for the mushroom. Okay, and as it comes right here, I want the mushroom to literally, boop, pop out. Then come down here, 
the mushroom can actually now just go <clears throat> and just kind of fall down in the background. Okay? Makes sense, people. Do you guys see what I'm doing? Raise your hand. Okay. Is this fun or what? It's it's really let me just um resume. Now, one more thing and I'm going to cut you loose. Okay, we have this thing called a cloud. How do we know it's transparent? It's a PNG and watch when I bring it over the backdrop. See how it's transparent? That means it is PNG is transparent. Hold down scale or S for scale and bring this here. Now, this gives it another look to show that we are moving across the screen. Which way would this cloud go to make it look like we're moving from left to right? Say what? It's going to go right to left, right? The cloud has to move from right to left to go. If it's going left and we're going right, it looks like we're moving right. Cool? So what I'm going to do is hold down or click on the drop down, transform. And while the cloud is over here and I'm at my time indicators at the very beginning, okay, I'm going to turn on position. I'm going to click on end on my uh, timeline on my keyboard and bring the time indicator all the way to the end. Okay, now with that said, I'm going to click shift and bring it right across the screen. Now watch, it gives that extra little effect like we're moving. Cool? See, you guys are now animators. All right? So, let me just um, let me just summarize what we've gone through. Okay? So, we've worked with keyframes again, okay? Which is right here, the time you have to turn the stopwatch on to activate the keyframe, okay? We've actually gone into this car and we've animated a composition and we brought that composition into the background composition and that is called nesting. Okay? We've done that and then we've had parenting. So if I want to link Mario and the car, I am actually making Mario layer, I'm making his parent be the car. So whatever I do with the car, Mario will follow. I am the parent of my daughter. Okay? Think of it that way. So whatever I do, she does. Make sense? So whatever Mario does, the car will because Mario's, or whatever the car does, Mario will because Mario's parent is the car. Does that help? Okay, so here's how the final product should be. When you're all done, you're going to go to composition add to media encoder okay so after you get it up here you're going to h.264 H. is fine you're going to click on the blue link here save it to wherever you want you're going to label it however you want and you will see here the file format is mp4 click save and then the green button up here to export that is a wrap